do Oh my girl Louisa We make up one big family though we don't look we do. good Our spots are different Different colors That's my life update guys I quit my job Today we are at the wedding of Jennifer and Eminence and I'm really really excited, the venue is beautiful, actually super nostalgic because this is the same venue we use for our wedding, well we use the mini marquee, this is the mega marquee, but it's the same site. So we've arrived literally like right on time, like everyone's literally coming into the venue. Where's the light gone? I don't even know whether you guys can hear me but I'm really looking forward to today. Hubby is actually going to perform today as well. Actually really really cute. I'm glad that my dress kind of matches the venue somehow. There was no colour code but I feel like I'm blending in nicely. This is what I did to my hair. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Really do oh girl uh -uh. it's noisy yeah yeah come on Like how Eminence would rather put 
When Jonathan sorts out the place and evidence is great at taking her out, taking out a brave well, well not everything needs a trade. So your love story is a cycle in itself. Because when you're at uni together, when you're close enough to feel like you moved in together, then the years after could easily have been where fear started, but instead you travel hours just to do things together. Love is only love distance if your heart's not in it. You both built your home off of being intentional. Not just saying what happens will happen, but having a method to it all. Marriage is just a blanket that reminds you you're not alone when you're questioning it all because now there's three people in the relationship and the third will never change. One, two, Jennifer and Emma. Jennifer and Emma. This is one of my biggest fans. Yeah. What's Hello. your name? Tell Lassie. them your name. Lovely, <laughs> lovely to meet you. Thanks for Chuck Fan. We love Thanks for coming. We love, love, you. love all your talk shows. Oh, love thank you. Love Keep being great. Thank you. Keep being awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Make yeah. God <laughs> There's a small right there. <laughs> thank you. Yes, so she said hi. <laughs> thank you. We say cheers. Yes. 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 Love you too. You're cooking the curry bread. Bye. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've arrived so late at this one's graduation barbecue. I'm glad I'm still here. Better late than never. They're literally packing up. What is finished. What is finished. This is one of Isha's friends, stroke neighbors. Well, the neighbor is his girlfriend. Congratulations, Grad. I'm so tired, guys. I'm having a lovely cupcake. I'm quick. Don't you think he looks like Tolu? You do. You look like our cousin. Yeah, a dark skin version. Oh, I can't see that now. <laughs> 
They're literally <laughs> twins. Like, if wow. they were, if they, if he came and they stood yeah. next to each other, I actually can't go see that now. Yeah, 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 literally. Barbecue outfit, guys. Yeah. We've been seeing this outfit in many different I know, you've probably, probably seen it a lot, but you know. Yeah. Uh, what's that accept? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> where, where to talk normally? So we've got to put in. Beautiful. Because we are sisters. We stand together. We, we make up one big family, though we don't look we do this. We do Our this. spots are different. different. Different colors. Mm. Different colors. Mm. Why did nobody do the, the ad dip? <clears throat> Again, oh. and awesome. I am telling you, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna see mm -hmm. She ain't going. She's like, she's just telling you, look again. Bye. 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 It's called knowing how to sing. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's, let's let's talk about. Let me tell you things. Let me tell you. Ooh, I'm glad Jesus. Let me tell you guys something. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. Okay. These are wise words. <laughs> Two things a man can achieve in life. Yeah. You see this leaf. <laughs> Go on. Hey if guys. you cut it, yeah, it, can, it can come out of a box <laughs> cool. and come Jesus. on top of the plane mm. that brings oxygen carbon dioxide. Mm. Mm. So when the past one now comes downstairs, the fact that she knows it went for when the jollof rice can melt can into melt the house. <laughs> and if you don't mind, if you don't mind, oh the Okada can belong to the present. Mm. Mm. Wisdom, wisdom, yeah. wisdom. That was good too. Anyway, guys, I want to do this trend, the the one with the mic and pick a song that you do on TikTok. I want to do it with. Um, what's the song I want to do again? Naira Marley. I can't remember. The Street. Come on, Louis Vuitton. Come on. What? I'm going to set it up. Hey, I'm going. Hey. Look at my wrist. Hey. What? 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 So if you put your leg there. But what was your holiday? Lanzarote. Lanzarote. <laughs> Gang. Cute. Do you know what they've been saying? If you've got the pop of your colours. These are them, isn't it? No. Green. Green is missing. Green. Yeah, yeah, I'm red. Mm. But they were like ugly. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, for me to say red is ugly, that is something. Yeah, because you red to take the colour. Red girl. <laughs> Your no, she's red. She's definitely no, red. No, she's proper green. Have you seen Sophie angry? Well, you're definitely. Oh, you mean in terms of personality? Yeah, you're blue. She's green. I'm red. Wasn't Bubbles ye yellow? Bub Bubbles was blue. Anyway, guys, you're it's been a bubbles. really, really fun night. What an eventful night. It was so hot in Isha's room that I ended up sleeping downstairs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone's heading off now. I'm just stretching my hair and then I'm gonna put my clippings back in. Um, Isha's going to her church. I'm gonna try and head over to my church as well. Um, Sophie's staying at home. <laughs> <laughs> After a long day of doing this, she, she's here chilling. It's all right, she can rest. Remember, the, the Lord, Lord is watching you. <laughs> I'm joking. 
rest, rest stop. I just did a fantastic workout it's been a while guys since I've had the time and space to do that went to do sorry my breath <laughs> went to do a mid month like a refresher shopping half over the month tend to like replace um, like what's running out from like the beginning of the month and I said today I need to get back into my workout routine. You guys know that I got a job. And I got a part-time role. But it wasn't necessarily part-time. It was like every day. And then the shift patterns. I was doing like shift work. So the shift pattern was changing from 2 to 8. And 8 to 2 every other week. So although the hours itself was not much. For some reason just being somewhere every day. Still somehow eats your day if that makes sense but anyway the life update is that i did i quit my job i quit that job because i just realized it was getting in the way of just everything there wasn't a very good work-life balance work-life business balance um one of the reasons why i can only work part-time is because you know my content creation is you know is my business is my brand it needs time kind of looking after and yes, I'm currently like building a production team, but there's still some things that I need at least a day or two to dedicate to, um, dedicate towards. And initially when I took the, when I accepted the job offer, I really thought it was something that would be possible with the hours in terms of going every day for half days and swapping every week. But then the reality of it was just not working out for me. Like I was always tired. Hence why I couldn't like go to the gym as much. You know, one of the reasons why I left my care job was, you know, it w I felt it wasn't good enough in terms of my partner, in terms of being here for my husband and spending time with him. And then I enter a job role that has not 12 hour days, but six hour days, but similar time shift patterns, if that makes sense. So I was like, have I really gotten away from the hours that I was running away from? Or am I still working 12 hour days? Because what was happening was, if I was working a morning shift, I would come home and then edit or whatever it was I was doing content wise till like evening. And if I was working a late shift, I was waking up early to try and get some work in and then going to work. So I had to really think, am I really, have I really gotten away from the hours I was trying to get away from or am I still working those same hours alongside my business? And I just thought, you know what, this is not working for me. Let me start looking for something part time. And you know, I have in mind all the specifics that I want for my next job role and I've written it down. And I've said to myself, Mo, you're not going to settle until you get this thing because one thing you don't want as well and another thing is that i hardly created content except for vlogs like to actually create content was really really tough guys because i was always tired one of the purposes of getting a job role was to have number one a stable income for like life expenses adulting goals all of that but also to build this content thing and then i go into the job role now and it's now hindering me from even creating the content gong 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 in the first place i was like ah it's not really working for me so unfortunately i had to you know let the job go and it was sad because like my colleagues are amazing such nice people i have to thank god for that experience but i still have to say okay i can't hold on to it because of this if it's affecting life balance romance balance content creation balance everything balance even back account balance because i was really looking at it and i was saying ah, the money I was making as a content creator was more than this, so even before I started working part-time, 
and I wouldn't want it to kill that source of income. I wanted it to be an extra source of income. So I've had to rethink that. So it's kind of back to the drawing board in terms of looking for the job that I want. So like I was saying, I've written down the things that I want and I'm not going to settle because I remember when they told me the shift pattern, I was like, ah, this won't really work for me, but I was still like, ah, let me just try. And they do say it takes about three months to really know if a job is a right fit for you, both from your employer and from you as well. And I just realized and had to accept that this one, this particular one was not for me. But enough of let me just try. If I know something is not what I want, there's no point going into it in the first place. Like earlier this morning, I had a call with somebody who was offering a job role. And you know, my lesson learned from this last job role, I was, as soon as I heard something that was like, that's not for me, I said it straight away and I was really, really proud of myself for saying actually that's not a right fit, even though this is right and this is right and this is right. So yeah, that's my life update guys. I quit my job and it's actually been really nice guys having time back. I do have like a temp role that I'm going to be doing and that's like a three day a week job role it's not everything i want and that's why oh god and the reason why i accepted it was because it was temp yeah but my permanent as in long term role that i'm looking for i want it to be everything i want and more but this one yeah i can rock with that temporarily but it's been really nice guys having these two days the first two days of the week to just do content like yesterday i edited today i edited tomorrow i'm creating content it's been so long and i'm really 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 excited Ulua is involved Ulua is in control i remember at work they were telling me, oh, why would you quit your um, permanent job for a temp role, da, da, da. And I just said to them, because I know the temp role is not my final destination and I know that I'm going to find, I know God will provide something. Like life is so fluid, you don't have to hold on to one thing because we feel like it's our once, once in a million opportunity at something. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm preaching people. But anyway, guys, I'm going to close the vlog right here. Um, do make sure you like, so if you liked it, share with your friends, comment below on the things I spoke about and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, guys, peace and love, peace and chance.